Hi guys, it's Marshall here with this week's Sanity Check. And this week I want to talk a bit about identity and what it means to transition from one to another. Now, identity is something that we tend to take for granted, like it's something we're just given. It's not something we have a lot of power in, it's not something we have say in, it's just something we're born with or end up being. Okay? Now there are certain attributes of our identity that we don't get to choose. We don't have a whole lot of choice in. A lot of that deals with our personality, with our um, fight, flight, or freeze response to danger, uh, things like that, our sensitivities to certain kinds of things. But those aspects are not things we get to choose. They're just things we get to manage. When it comes to codependency, or when it comes to insecurity and those kind of things, we actually have a lot more choice in the matter. What I've discovered and working out my own insecurity, working out my own codependent habits and attitudes towards the world, is that I had chosen to believe that I was intrinsically unworthy, bad, and naturally insecure, like it was part of who I was. So when I started challenging that identity, I began to explore being something else. So I started exploring being confident. I started exploring being successful and went on to exploring being defiant and courageous. And now I've started exploring the concept of just being love. It's fundamentally codependency is a coping mechanism to love neglect. We were starved for love. Love was controlled um, by the uh, unhealthy caretakers in our life, the narcissists or the other codependents or even the borderline personality disordered individuals they use love as a weapon to control and manipulate us so we we starved for it well one of the the big transitions i've had in my life from moving from codependency to to confident uh, thriving beyond it meaning i know who i am and i'm choosing myself on a regular basis was to incorporate love more and more and more well, in the last six months, I've started to explore just being love. Making that the natural default to my reactions to life. So if something happens, rather than defaulting to pleasing or defaulting to fixing or insecurity or fear, I would default to love. I would default to the idea of what would love do in this space? Who would I be f as love in this situation? And it's helping. It's helped me a lot to understand what love is for me and my ability to connect with others. Because one of the big, big travesties, the, the big tragedy of, of codependency is we're taught that we can't connect, that people don't want us to connect, that our love is somehow toxic, unwanted, or disgusting, or vile. And doing this practice of assuming we're love, making that our default response to things, helps us get a lot of counter experience in being in, in those beliefs. So not only can I be toxic to someone, I can actually be loving too. Somebody can interpret my love as valuable and worthy and beautiful rather than just unwanted or disgusting or repulsive. But I get a chance to be me and that process there is actually really important when we get to the concept of filter and and vulnerability and defining who de deserves to be in our lives that process really highlights who does and who doesn't fit in our lives because fundamentally the reverse of codependency is choosing ourselves first it's making ourselves first in line with whatever comes up well, this process of responding to life from a premise of I am love empowers us to accomplish that. So this week, I want you to check in and see what that would be for you. How would being love change your world? Take it on. Do some experiments. And then share with me in group or below in the comments what you experience. Okay? Thank you, guys. I look forward to seeing how this impacts your life. Make sure you join the group the 10 laws of thriving beyond codependency and narcissistic abuse link is below if you're struggling with codependency and you're ready to break out of it get the blueprint and then invest in yourself invest in foundation which is my primary course 
and breaking people out of codependency and setting them up to thrive. So let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to talking to you guys next week. Have a great day, guys.